Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to Virtual Church. <laughs> it's good to have you with us, or with me. It's good to be with you. Um, Love Divine or Love's Excelling was today's first hymn, and that was actually for, as people have been already pointing out in the chat, for Trevor. I think it might be Trevor's birthday. I think. I hope it's Trevor's birthday. Um, that was for Trevor. Um, and I'm very happy to play that because Trevor um, has been rather unwell recently and seems to be turning a bit of a corner, uh, which is wonderful um, news. Maurice, thank you. Yes, that's a relief. I am correct. Phew, you know, often I am not correct. So to say something that is correct is a massive relief. So, lots of hymns today. Um, I've got my trusty old BIS requests form here, as usual. And actually, that one was requested by a few people, but I think Garrett actually got in first on, onto the uh, request form um, and, you know, re requested it first. So, Garrett, thank you, and other people as well for requesting uh, that wonderful hymn. So, now, let's crack on. You probably... It's, it does say on the screen right now where we are. We are in the um, beautiful church in London, uh, in St. Mary Le Beau. Uh, actually, it's a two-manual organ uh, in real life, but on this Hauptwerk version, it's a three-manual organ with some rather nice colours on it. So I thought we could explore the stops today. And actually, it looks rather comical on this organ, but all of these physical stops that you can see here, the choir and the great in that order. <laughs> Swell and pedal on that side, they're all physical uh, stops relating to the actual organ in St Mary Le Beau. So this is how big the real organ is. It's rather nice. Okay, so where should we go next then guys? I think because we've got the NEH open, let's stick in here for a moment, um, go to number 94 and we'll go to a hymn requested by Story Angel, who occasionally goes by the name of Caroline. But I think I prefer Story Angel, to be honest. <laughs> so, it's what she asked for. Well, I'll tell you. We sing the praise of him who died, of him who died upon the cross. The sinner's hope let him, sorry, the sinner's hope let, uh, let men deride. For this we count the world but uh, lost. Uh, the tune is called Bow Brick Hill, and its uh, music is by Sidney Nicholson, and the words by Thomas Kelly. And we will have five verses. Oh, we've just had a new channel member. Thank you very much. I wonder whether that popped up on the screen using a little bit of funky sort of uh, uh, plugins in the back end. Hope it did. Um, okay, so sorry, Angel. Let's have a go at this next hymn.
Well, guys, let me know how this organ is sounding over the internet. Um, it sounds it sounds wonderful in here. Particularly, I would say these foundation stops sound really nice together. How is it coming across to you guys? I'll let you guys into a little secret. And look, there's only 225 people watching. Don't tell anyone, okay? Shh. But actually, I've added a little bit of reverb. <laughs> so through the magic of technology, get this. We're listening to St. Mary Le Beau in London, played by an organist down in Hampshire with the acoustic of um, the St. Martini Kirk in Groningen in the Netherlands. So a bit of a, um, a collection of stuff there. <laughs> anyway, so I hope it sounds okay for you. Jerry, thank you very much for um, confirmation that it sounds good. Um, and sh uh, Sharon as well, thanks very much for confirming. Uh, and Andrew Morrison, good to have you with us tonight. Um, who else have we got in? I'll, I'll ask you to do a plus one at some point later on, maybe when people have settled down in their seats and got a bit comfortable in your virtual pews, as it were. I love the idea that um, for virtual church, a, a, a virtual pew can be a very comfortable sofa with drinks, you know, um, wine or gin water, communion wine, whatever you want. I love the idea that you can just be in your own safe space at home um, in your virtual pew. You know, <laughs> perhaps some of you on the toilet, I don't know. Um, right, let's go on to the next um, hymn, shall we? Enough about that. And let's go, we've got quite, thank you guys for requesting a few hymns from NEH. I like it when you request things from the NEH because it's, 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 my, it's my hymn book. It's my hymn book. It's what I was brought up on. Um, now, Ron Kurek, who, um, who isn't a patron, Story Angel is. Thank you very much, Story, for your ongoing support. And Garrett, who requested, who was the first person to request Love Divine, is also a patron. So, let's have a look at this hymn, which comes from... <laughs> Someone just made a request and it's just messed my... There it is. The, oh, the hymnal 1982. Eey, this big one here. It's number 175. Ron, if you're in, give me a shout in the, uh, in the live chat to let me know that you are with us. Uh, 175. It's Hail the Festival Day. I'm not going to have all of the verses because... We would literally be here until um, next Thursday if we had all the verses. So I probably won't have them all. Oh, it's got a page turn on the refrain. That's really annoying, isn't it? Why do they do that? Trusty old NEH doesn't have a page turn when we go into the refrain. So let's use trusty old NEH, but the words I imagine will be the same. But hey, it doesn't matter if the words are different because I'm not, I'm not singing the words, am I? <laughs> that would be a bit of a laugh. <laughs> Hail the day. Hail the... Uh, 109 in here. How many verses shall we have? How many verses do you think you should have? Uh, well, I guess until we... Until we've... Um, until the procession is finished, I guess. So, let's have a go. Normally, I play this at a right old lick, but I'm going to just play it a little fraction slower uh, today. hope that's okay. Okay, enough waffle for now, and we'll get on with this next hymn. Let's go to the uh, top camera to see what's going on from the bird's eye view. Just don't make any comments about my hairline. I love you. If you do, I love you.
cool. Well, there we go. So you had quite a few verses there, actually. I, I have to confess that I had no idea how many verses. Because I said beforehand that I would give you some verses, I actually didn't count. So I just sort of played and played and played until, yeah, until it felt about right. There were 10 verses, um, and every uh, alternate verse, or every verse, you alternate between um, different music, which is quite funky. Uh, keeps it keeps it fresh. So, so thank you, Ron. I have not seen you give me a shout out. Perhaps you have, and I've completely missed it. If, if you have, I apologise. Um, if you're watching back, this back on replay, leave me a comment uh, underneath the video. I'd really, really appreciate that. I love it when you guys leave comments. It's so really good for me to know what you're thinking. Live chat and comments are different things, by the way. If you feel so inclined, if you enjoy any of my content, you know whether it be uh, a trio sonata or a virtual church or a compline, if you enjoy it, if you don't enjoy it, leave me a comment because then I can, I can just know what you're thinking and then I can adjust my, adjust my content based on what you're thinking. It's a win-win. So leave me, leave me, leave me comments on the video. <laughs> it really helps. <laughs> ben Wallace has apparently emailed me a high quality scan. Yay! So let's have a look at Ben's email. Let me fire up my email inbox. There it is, sent, sent on Saturday. And brilliantly, it's called, um, the, the subject title is Him Request High Quality PDF. Brilliant, Ben. You know how it works, don't you? You know exactly how it works. Andy um, sent me uh, a, c a comment yesterday on the Trio Sonata. I hope you've all watched the Trio Sonata, by the way, yesterday. You know, for those people who are regular virtual church listeners, might not have watched the Trio Sonata. The Trio Sonata, there are six Trio Sonatas by Bach, and I set myself a challenge to learn and record them all within 12 months. The, the first Trio Sonata went online a year ago today. Okay, so you can check the date, I'm not fibbing. The date of the broadcast of the Trio Sonata number one went online 365 days ago today. Trio Sonata number six, the final one, went online yesterday. So we actually managed to achieve the, the aim of uh, performing, recording, and learning uh, them all within 12 months. Yay! So what in earth is my point to all of this? Point A is, go watch it, because I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> And point B, uh, Ben, is Andy, Andy uh, sent me a message just asking me about how I learned them. So um, I wonder whether you've um, told him about the, 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 uh, the, 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 the video that I did where we actually learned, I learned it live in front of people, which is, you know, it's a bit embarrassing, but I don't care, to be honest. If, you, if, if it helps somebody, uh, gives some people ideas on how to learn, them, them, the, the, learn music yourself, then it's a, it's a good thing. So I'll do more of those live practice things, but they'll be private. So the patrons and channel members only. I, I won't necessarily do, do public ones. Too personal. <laughs> so Ben, I will get in touch with Andy about that. So Ben has requested, Arise my soul, arise, shake off the, thy guilty fears. The bleeding sacrifice in my behalf appears before the throne my um, shorty. Ooh, that's a new word. It's a capital S. S-U-R-E-T-Y. Surety, I suppose, isn't it? But I don't know why it's got a capital S. Uh, my name is written on his hands. My name is written on his hands. Uh, apparently, it's in the, a traditional American melody arranged by Daniel uh, Towner in 1909. The words are by the great Charles Wesley. And it sounds... a bit like this.
Fab. I hope that was all right for you, Ben. Um, you just said you, you, you liked my um, interpretation. Well, I think it was, um, I took it at that tempo. I think I wouldn't like to take it any faster than that, personally, because of all of the um, sort of, in want of a better phrase, the melisma. <laughs> um, you know, you've got three notes on arise, for example. Arise. Uh, my soul and the dotted rhythms just m might make it a little bit uh, fast to get your tongue and mouth around. So, which is why. And Charles was, I think these hymns, you know, the great Methodist, um, I think they have a very dignified way of singing hymns. I remember once playing a hymn at York Minster as organ scholar there, and the canon chancellor came over um, and said, I'd make a very good Methodist. I said, why? Um, he said, oh, well, that's the way you played that hymn. It was, I forget which hymn it was, but you play, I played it very broadly, and I don't think it's normally, it was normally done broadly there. So I was quite, I took it as a compliment, basically. <laughs> I think it was. Um, so Ben, cool, I hope that was all right. No, I, but the problem with this list is I have to jump around just to try and get a bit of balance between loud and quiet, loud and quiet. Uh, we've had some loud ones, haven't we? I'm just having a look, a little zoom down the list to see if I can see an obvious, um, a quiet, reflective one. Um, let's have a look at, um, uh, is, it, is it Jonah or Yona? Um, J-O-N-A-H-G. Um, apologies for mis the mispronunciation. But um, Jonah Joa has requested, a Lord, you give the Great Commission. It's in the um, e Evangelical Lutheran Worship, ELW, and it's number 579. Uh, it's to the, uh, oh, it's to the famous tune, Abbot's Lay, a very, very well-known tune. Um, interestingly, interestingly, it's in C major in here. Okay, well, let's have a listen to it in C major. I had never played it in C major before. It's, it's, I play, it's normally in D major. Let's have a listen to it in C major to see what it sounds like. I suspect it might sound a bit low. If you're singing, in, yes, if you're singing bass, there's some low notes to get your, um, le, get your, your, excuse the phrase, your, your, your no, I won't say it. I was going to say, low notes to get your bottom around, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're all friends. Okay, so um, I want to know uh, who is new today? Who is listening for the first time today? Please do give me a shout out in the chat and I will give you a very personal welcome. Um, it's great to have new people and it's great to have returning people as well. <laughs> it really is. The retention is high on my list of priorities for 20. 22 as long as as well as um, finding new people it's holding on to existing people so if you're new say hello let's go to the north should we go to top no let's go to the normal shoulder cam
it's um, rather odd playing such a familiar tune in a, uh, in a different key. You know, you're so used to doing it, if you're so used to doing it in a certain way. Your, you know, um, your, your muscle memory um, plays, a, plays a, a, a part of playing these hymns. Um, when, when, when playing in, in a, you know, a tone lower, there are certain moments where your, your legs, your feet, for example, want to go to um, like th that chord there is an A major, the, the dominant in D major, but in here it's G major because it's the dominant of C major. And then going down to a B flat major here, rather than C major there. <laughs> it just feels like you've got to really concentrate. Um, yes, but anyway, <laughs> thanks very much for requesting that. And different words as well. Lord you, Lord, you give us the Great Commission. Heal the sick and preach the word, lest the church neglect its mission uh, and the gospel go unheard. These are new, completely new words to me. Um, help us witness to your purpose with a renewed integrity. And then, then the refrain, actually, with the Spirit's gift empower us for the work of ministry. So very familiar tune, but very unfamiliar words. So really, really nice to be able to put unfamiliar words to a familiar tune in a different key. It's good that you're being so polite and welcoming all our uh, new listeners. It's very good to have new listeners uh, with us. So welcome. I always, I've got the chat here and I can see occasional things. Um, but I generally, after the broadcast, will go back through the, through the stream and just sort of look through the live chat, see what you were chatting about, see who is in, and then see what we can do better for next time. So I rest assured, if you've said hello, I will see it. So hello and thank you to the regulars for being so welcoming to the new folk. That's what we're all about, is being welcoming, being open and being very inclusive. And I hope that everyone feels that. Cool, have we got Eddie in with us? Let me know Eddie if you're in, because you ha you've not been in for a while and I want to play something for you. Right. Oh, Gerd has asked for what a familiar one. Uh, Common Praise. This is actually a really good hymn book, this. It's got a lot of good stuff in here. It's 264 in this hymn book. Um, and it's all things bright and beautiful. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, dear. John Rutter. Oh, I see, it's the John Rutter arrangement. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to uh, get one of my uh, members of staff to go and fetch it. It's upstairs in, um, in the music room, the library upstairs. While someone might or might not go and fetch that for me, I'm going to go into the next row. Um, Roger Richards has asked for um, a rather good hymn um, from my favourite hymn book. It's Christ is made the sure foundation and the precious cornerstone, who the two walls underlying abound in each binds both in one. Holy Zion's help forever and her confidence alone. I've mentioned this a lot and for those people who have the hymn book to hand and can easily find the answer to this question, shush you however what from what anthem does this come okay there's an, there's an anthem that i've mentioned a few times in vc just put it in the chat and um you'll get a prize of respect i think it, regular people will know the answer to that straight away those people who listen to me anyway <laughs> wonderful tune, wonderful words, everything, everything's wonderful about it. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Roger, um, one of our patrons. Thank you for the support for requesting this.
You're, some people were saying that it's, it's so much fun to play. It really is so much fun to play that hymn. It's one of the uh, great hymns, actually, to play. It just sort of fits under the, um, under the hands really nicely, and it's a lot of fun. It's just really rousing, exciting, uplifting, and all of those good things. Wonderful words as well. The final verse, Lord and honour to the Father, Lord and honour to the Son, Lord and honour to the Spirit, the Holy Trinity, ever three and ever one, one in love, one in splendour, while unending ages run. Amen. This is Westminster Abbey, as a lot of you have identified correctly, and it is from the anthem. I want to test you on this because I'll ask you again next time. It's from the anthem by Henry Purcell, O God, Thou Art My God. Wonderful uh, anthem that he wrote whilst he was organist at Westminster Abbey, and it ends with uh, that tune. Another question for those people who know that mute, that anthem: to which word is it sung? <laughs> Only one word, and it's just sung all the way through. I've quite a few requests um, uh, tonight, so that's really really wonderful. I'm going to just actually jump around a bit. So let's go to the bottom. Actually, we've got a lot to get through. Um, we had a we had a loud rousing one. Um, Benjamin Ricks, who is a patron, has emailed me a high quality scan of a hymn. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at high at how high quality this one is. Wow, that really is high quality. Look at that. Look at that. That is the highest quality you can possibly get. That's not even a scan. That's that's just a a direct export of a, a music software thing. Roger, thank you for your donation. That's so kind. It really, really helps. The donations really help uh, to build the channel. Um, that $20 will almost certainly be reinvested into the channel to make it a bigger and better and more exciting place to be. So thank you very much. So let's have a go at this hymn. Um, uh, let me just make sure I get the name correct for Benjamin Ricks who is one of our patrons, and again, who is a, 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 and that really helps as well, being, being a patron. That word is Tony Piper, that word is hallelujah, it is indeed, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bravo to you for getting that right. <clears throat> so, what are the words to this one, I hear you crying? Well, let me tell you what they are right now. Come, O thou King of Kings. We've waited long for thee, with healing in thy wings, to set thy people free. Come, thou desire of nations, come. Let Israel now be gathered home. That's really cool, isn't it? Thomas has given me um, 27 Canadian dollars. <laughs> He's given me an epic fail. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. What's... <laughs> I don't know what's an epic fail about, about what, but <laughs> I like it. <sighs> I like those emojis. They make me, they really t tickle me. So if you want to send me really quirky emojis like that, then the more the merrier. Benjamin, here is your request. What should we have? Tell you what, let's try the sesquialtra on the choir with the eight, eight, eight and four flutes. Yeah, let's just listen to that. Let's see what that sounds like. Are you ready? We'll go, we'll go to the bird's eye view.
I, should, I feel like I should join in everyone saying goodbye, Jay. So, goodbye, Jay. Hope you come back next week. <laughs> you got to go and run off for dinner. Well, hope you have a nice meal. There we go, Benjamin Ricks. Not a him that I know. And uh, as, I, I've, as I've said before, many times in virtual church, one of the wonderful things about doing virtual church is the the fact that we are so broad. You know, you go you go to a church um, in England or around the world, and you might boast about the fact that my church is a very broad church. We're very diverse. And what I would say to that, you haven't got anything on this virtual church. We are the broadest church in the world, I think. I can't think. I can't think of many more. Br- broader churches than us. The wonderful thing is that we all have a common interest in in music uh, and hymns and uh, experiencing these hymns together. I think that's, that's so amazing. I think that's one of the reasons why this is so such a wonderful, uh, successful thing. Okay, so um, where should we go next? I think we should have an organ piece, don't you? I think I really just want to play an organ piece. Um, Let's have a look. We've had a couple of requests. For, so one from Maffet, uh, the Prelude of Fugue in A minor. Um, I'm not going to risk that one. Not without practicing it. It's not one of the ones that I can just uh, churn out, unfortunately. I don't know it well enough. I only learned that one last year and I can't do it. Uh, Case from Keys or Case from, Ho- from, Ho- Case from Holland. Um, and Dante from the fourth trio sonata. Oh, it's too risky again. I don't know. I won't do it, not the trio sonatas, They're too, there's too much that can go wrong with them. Give me an organ request uh, in, uh, in the chat if you like and, um, and we'll see if we can play it. Something that you know I can play. <laughs> grade, preferably nothing beyond grade three. <laughs> How about Angel Voices Ever Singing for Lewis Harvey? How about that one, Lewis? Are you in with us, my dear friend? Number 336. This is a terrific hymn, isn't it? Angel voices ever singing, round thy throne of light, angel harps forever ringing, rest not day nor night. Thousands only live to bless thee and confess thee, Lord of might. Let's have a look to see what he's done with it, shall we? Let's have a look. <clears throat> there it is. I could put it. Uh, are you? Oh yes, you are. You, you've given me some requests. I can I can see two which I can play. I can see three which I can play. So that's good. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> Keep them coming. Right. Let's go. Who is this for? I've completely forgotten. Did I say? I did. It was for Lewis. Lewis Harvey. This is for you. It's a f- because the verses are quite long, do you mind if we have four verses rather than five? We'll omit a verse. Um, the good thing about these VCs is, is you can omit any verse you like. Bird's eye view.
for Noel Rawsthorn. <laughs> Great stuff. Great stuff, isn't it? Cool. I really enjoy those, actually. I mean, I, I, I really ought to do more of my own stuff. I really ought to do more of my own stuff. But I think... I don't... I don't, I don't um, I'm not afraid to admit this, but I'm still learning how to uh, sort of reharmonize like that. I, I can't... I don't ever pretend to be able to do it as well as this. And it takes a lot of skill and, I think, flamboyancy and confidence to be able to do it well. And to be able to do it with confidence, you need to look at what other people are doing. So this is actually what I'm doing. I'm looking, I'm learning by playing other people's reharmonizations. Um, and, you know, I think in the future we'll, we'll have to rely on this less and less. So, ooh, I can still see the requests coming in. That's excellent. I'm just going to have a look at the uh, what you guys requested uh, for me to play. So, Charpentier. Nundankat uh, Allegot. BWV 541. Okay, well, I think we need to do, by the looks of it, uh, Karg Alert. Nundankat Allegot. How about that one? Um... Tell you what, I'll play, I'll ask someone to go and fetch it for me because it's upstairs. I need someone to go and get it for me. I think it's upstairs. Yeah, actually it might be here. He might be in luck actually. If it's here, I'll play it right now. Can't make any promises. I might be getting your hopes up now. Um, I thought it was in this book. Um, oh, the problem is with this blooming book is it's not arranged. It's arranged by what is it called? It's just called. I don't think it's in here, is it? Um, no, I can't see it in there. No, it is. It's. Oh, that's annoying because they put it in English. It's, they put it as "Now Thank We All Our God" rather than the original title. So no wonder it was hard to find. Thank you very much, Kevin Mayhew, for wasting a. A minute of everyone's time. We need to keep these virtual churches snappy. Keep it flowing. I'm not faffing around trying to find pieces of music. We, we translated it into English. Right, so this is a request from numerous people. <laughs> and I'm going to um, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to whack it out. Um, I'm going to whack it out in this on this organ. Basically, it's F, F, F at the beginning, isn't it? So let's just, let's not go completely berserk just yet. Let's just um, hold on to our horses and save a bit for later on. Yeah, okay, here we go then. Tell you what, a bit of a, bit of a challenge. A bit of a challenge, try and put me off. Try and put me off. I've got the chat right here, 291 people. I'm going to ask you all to put me off. What, give me your worst. What can you do to put me off?
the only thing that someone almost put me off with was, whew, and how dare you say this, Herbert Howells is not rubbish. He is the best composer of English church music that ever lived. And I will not have it any other way. Roger, there's no mice in here. Not today. Um, there have been a few mice in here since you were here. Uh, but I don't think there are any in here today. I don't know. There might well be some in here today, but... Not that I know about. It's quite funny actually because um, when um, <laughs> when I was playing that, I could see sort of see the numbers. Uh, the numbers, the viewership is it's just so random. It says two hundred eighty-two now, and then it might jump up, then it might jump down. I just love the idea that you know people started playing this, and then people you know I don't know was it too loud or did I play it too slowly, but the numbers just suddenly dipped as soon as I started playing this piece. <laughs> like oh. Thanks guys, cheerio then. Thanks for saying bye. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's absolutely fine. So talking about Herbert Howell, I think we should have Andrew Morrison's request, who's, who's Andrew has, has asked for All My Hope On God Is Founded. Uh, I'm gonna prove to you that Herbert Howell is not rubbish. Good grief. Good grief. Whoever said that needs to go and say about 25 Hail Marys, I think. So let's have the, you know, you, you know this tune, don't you? It's, it's called Michael, all my hope on God is founded. He doth still my trust renew. And for the final verse, we will actually have this reharmonization by Howells himself. Um, so that's good. Now the numbers have now gone up to 289. Good, so welcome those five people who have just joined. Don't go anywhere, because we're just sort of watching these viewing figures sort of go up and down like that, depending on what I'm playing. So don't go, please, stay with me, stay with me. <laughs> there's, um, there's, a, there's a YouTuber uh, who I watch uh, occasionally who does, um, he does online racing, actually. He's, a, he's, a, he's training, to, training to be a racing driver, and he does live streams um, numerous times per week. It's his full-time job, and he has about seven or eight thousand people watching him. I just think, God, imagine if we um, if we saw one day seven thousand people watching. Can you imagine that seven thousand requests to get through in two hours on a Sunday. <laughs> seven thousand. Uh, well, that would be that would be a marathon and a half, wouldn't it? You're talking about about marathons, by the way. I've got a great idea for February. You have to wait. So Andrew Morrison um, is, has asked for uh, All My Hope On God Is Founded. And I'm very, very happy to play it for, uh, for Andrew.
Thank you very much, Tony, for donating five pounds. As the um, as this, hopefully you've just seen on the screen as well. That isn't that, I think that's a really cool feature. I love it, um, and it jiggles as well. So um, I, I thank you very much for that five quid. That's really, really kind. Wonderful tune there. Um, there's actually in verse two. We haven't got a thirty-two foot read on this organ, uh, but verse two. Uh, pride of man and earthly glory, sword and glory betray his trust. Oh, what with care and toil he buildeth. And this is it. Tower and temple fall to dust. It's a good moment for the thirty-two to come out. I haven't quite got one here though. Um, but I always try to get that 32 on at that moment. It's a good moment. <laughs> cool, one of my favourites. One of my favourites. Uh, next hymn, next... Um... <laughs> Plays the, um, Oliver, um, the, the whole sonata by Gilmore. That's, it's about 40 minutes long. <laughs> We've only got about 40 minutes left. I have to start it now. <laughs> I, could, I could do I, I have played it on the channel twice, actually. Three times it's on the channel. Um, but no, not, not today. <laughs> not today. Um, good idea, though. Ah, uh, dear. Uh, organ marathons. Yes. Yes. So, you know, an, an organ marathon is, a, is meant to be... A, well, a marathon is supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to be a physical and mental challenge, isn't it? It's not meant to be, it's not meant to be a walk in the park, literally. <laughs> that would be a very nice, relaxed marathon, just walking around the park. Um, it's supposed to be a challenge. So I thought, actually, I, I won't tell you what piece yet, because I want to announce it um, in due course, but I thought in February, the next organ marathon could be 12 hours of me trying to play <laughs> and you might think when i say this what uh but it's it's a challenge for me so there's one particular piece um that is quite well known in the organ world and i'm going to play it as many times as possible in 12 hours this one organ piece i'm going to see if i can get through it as many times as possible and i think the we should guess try and work out how many times i can play it and the winner gets, I don't know, the winner gets something. <laughs> we'll have to think of a prize. Uh, but I think that will be uh, a rather fun challenge um, to see, to come up with a number, to see whether I can achieve that number. So I'll, I will uh, announce that in due course. I'm, I'm quite excited about it. I can tell you now, Caroline is not. She thinks it's a terrible idea, but I think it's a great idea. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see how it goes. If it gets about five views, I will know it was a terrible idea. <laughs> but if it gets 50 views, it might be a good idea. <laughs> no, I think if we break 10,000 views on organ marathons, they tend to, that tends to be a, sort of a, an indication that it was a good one. So let's see if we can repeat it. Right. Sam Sleeth is in. Sam, I, I've seen you chatting away, and oh my goodness, thank you very much, Barry. That's very generous of you. Hundred dollars. Gosh, that's amazing. Thank you very much for that. That's really incredibly amazing. That's it's wonderful. Um, have you have you made a request, Barry? Um, you got to make a request. That's really kind. Hopefully that comes up on the screen at some point. Um, Sam, Sam. I was talking about Sam Sleeth has requested. Um, uh, come thou long expected, Jesus. And it's, it asks for it from this hymn book specifically, number 30. Uh, Sam made me very jealous the other day uh, because he went to see, um, he went to see uh, the great Livier Lettry playing in London. Um, and by all accounts, it was a very good concert. I didn't realize actually on the same day they, they recorded um, a, a Vespers for broadcast on Radio 3 which goes out, I think, in early February. So he was playing on the Vespers as well. So I'm really looking forward to um, hearing that. So Sam, let us all know what, um, how the concert went. You know, what was it, was it good? What, what, do you think, um, what do you think to the organ? Give us, a bit, give us a bit of an update. So, come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free.
it's a wonderful hymn and actually it does come from um, uh, John Stainer's oratorio, The Crucifixion. He wrote, he wrote a number of hymns for that, um, which are just wonderful. Um, All for Jesus uh, comes from uh, that as well. In fact, it ends, the, the oratorio ends with All for Jesus, All for Jesus. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful moments with a big uh, Amen at the end, the plagal cadence Amen. Um, just everyone singing that simple cadence on full with full organ. It's just a wonderful, wonderful moment. And very moving, I find. So yes, um, um, Sam did indeed put a bit of um, uh, detail on his about the organ recital in the Facebook group, and actually that's just an opportunity uh, to give it a bit of a plug. If you are interested in becoming a bit of a um, uh, more involved in the BIS community, there is a Facebook page. Those of you who are uh, on Facebook, some of you aren't. I appreciate that. Uh, Facebook group called BIS Organists Association. It's simple as that. If you search for that, we've got about 1.7, 1 1.8 thousand people in there. Um, it's a private group, uh, so it's not public, um, and I, I have to approve all memberships, so there's no riffraff. <laughs> there probably is, actually. I'm in it for, for heaven's sake, so there is. Uh, but it's a wonderful way just to get a bit more uh, involved with members of the community and to share pictures and insights into organ recitals. But I guess there are some people watching who aren't on Facebook, which is why I asked them to give us a little bit of an update. By the way, we just want some um, sort of plugging stuff. Can I just plug this once more? Those people who are really interested in organ music and um, just, I guess, more technical sort of stuff about the organ, you know, more chatty, chatty type videos, behind the scenes videos, uh, organ playing technique, microphone placements in cathedrals, anything that isn't basically a performance, go ahead and subscribe to my uh, new sister YouTube channel. It's called a brand, a, a brand uh, channel. That's what YouTube call it. Uh, call it. Um, it's basically going to be, as I've just said, anything uh, apart from performances. So the main BI, the Beauty and Sound channel, this one that we're currently, you're currently watching now will always be uh, for the performances, for music, for virtual church, for recitals and all of that. The, the new one I've set up will, will be for the more talky, talky type ones. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about the organ and, and getting involved with, you know, that sort of thing, go and subscribe to that channel. I've just given you a link in the chat. There's only one video on there and it lasts about 10 seconds. It's rubbish. <laughs> it's, it's called a YouTube short. Um, but it, it's just a sort of a little, little bit of a promo for the organ, uh, the trio sonata that went online last night. So that's not necessarily the quality of content on the YouTube channel. It's just a short, a YouTube short they're called. They're really snappy and funky. And YouTube are really pushing for that sort of thing. Anyway, this channel is not about waffle. It's about organ performance, quality organ performances. So let's have another quality organ performance. Otherwise, we're never going to get through all of these hymns, blimey. Um, so, um, bear with me a second whilst I just remind myself what we have had. Martin, Martin has sent me um, a, a high quality copy of a hymn. He has, I know this because I, I saw it come in at half past two this afternoon. Here it is. Um, oh my gosh, the problem with, the problem with German um, is the, my pronunciation of it. I get my vowels uh, muddled up. Uh, so I, I forget whether an I-E is ein or ein. Uh, so it's um, the glaubt uh, ist nei Alin or Eilen, I think it's Eilen. Du Herr wirst mit uns sein, mit deiner Kra uh, Kraft uh, die Liebenschaft. Verglaubt ist nie al allen, al alin, 
someone correct me. I need, I need to work out how to remember which, which way to pronounce that vowel. Uh, <laughs> a little bit less waffle. <laughs> Should be more correct. <laughs> I don't know, know what that means. Are you, <laughs> Oh, I'm losing the plot. Right, let's go. Right, cool. Thank you very much, Martin, for requesting that. I did see some help with pronunciation. That's very kind, though. So I'll go back and make some notes. Um, so E-I equals I is an I ball. Oh, but then I-E is E, and I E I is I. Okay, how am I going to remember that? I'm not quite sure. E-I, I, I-E, E. So it's the, the last, the last uh, vowel, isn't it? which is the way to pronounce it. So I-E is E, E-I, I. Okay, I'll try to remember that. I'll try to, I can't promise. I can't promise. The dyslexia makes it challenging. <laughs> uh, Martin, hope that was okay for you. Right, um, we're actually at 25 to 10, so we've got about 20, 
five minutes left. Um, Julian Gordring has already said there's too much waffle tonight. So apologies, Julian. I will stop waffling and I will play Melita. Eternal Father, strong to save. This is number 364, I think, in the NAH. I think it's 364 in here. Um, no, it's not. It's, oh, it's three something. Uh, um, you've asked for it in what hymn book did you suggest? Uh, common praise. And it's number 413 in common praise, apparently. Hopefully it is. I think it is, yes. We're in the E's. Excellent. Before I start playing it, I'm just going to have a look. I don't remember what um, uh, Noel did for this one, or whether he, he has done anything. He has done something for it. Cool. Well, here we go. This is Eternal Father. Strong to save. There is four. Let me tell you who it's for. Adam. Adam uh, uh, Camil, 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 Camillary. Is that right? Adam, please do say hello in the chat if you're with us. This is one of my favourite hymns, this. So let's, let's, let's start it fairly quietly and work it up. Don't worry, Julian, I'm not going to waffle on any more.
Well, thank you very much for saying that was a nice last verse. It's good. It's, that was um, a, a, a Noel Rawson uh, one there. Um, I think this is actually a really strong hymn. I don't normally reharmonize that music because it's such a strong tune. Um, and I think the actual the harmony in the original really is strong enough without having to do anything uh, to it. Right. I did see a request for um, earlier on for the Charpentier, um, the prelude from his uh, Te Deum Cantata or piece, whatever you, is it a cantata or? I don't know. It's basically the first movement of a piece of music which is, is called the Te Deum. <laughs> and it's probably called the Te Deum because on the, the um, Te Deum text. I have played the entire thing actually. The first movement is very, very, very well known. And then the next movements are not so well known, but hey ho. So <laughs> you'll all know this, you'll all know this. Um, and that's have it because you, quite a few people requested it earlier on when I asked you to request or suggest organ music. This is not actually an organ piece, obviously. Well, not obviously, it wasn't, it wasn't an organ piece. It was written for orchestra, but it has been arranged for organ here. So he wants a solo trumpet to begin with, which we can do. Okay, you ready? So the prelude to the uh, uh, Charpentier's Te Deum, as I've said about 55 times now. I'm not going to say it once more, anymore. there's a performance of that that I gave a couple of years ago on the channel already uh, played I think on Rotterdam I can't remember it was, it was a long time ago um, I think I played it so differently back then I, you know I often play pieces like this this is a, very, a baroque French piece it's meant to be full of life you know there's a, the, there is an argument that you could potentially play it a bit like this really it might be a bit more authentic I 
I can't remember. Go and have a go and have a look at the video that I did. See how fast I played it. I never played it in C, uh, C major rather than D major. Uh, cool. Hope that was okay. By the way, just um, the reason why some people are in green uh, and they and have a one next to their name is because green people, <laughs> not because they're feeling poorly. It's um, they're channel members, okay? So if you're a channel member, you get a green, you're honored to have a green title, a green username. And the number one actually changes uh, the longer uh, the people are a channel member. So level one is like entry level. Two months, it then goes to two, level two. <laughs> and four months, it goes to level three, all the way up to level six. So let's see who can get to level six. That'll be awesome if we can get some level six channel members. If you want to um, support the channel in other ways, you can actually become a patron. Um, I think you would know about the patron thing as well. The link is on the screen if you fancy supporting BIS by becoming a patron and or channel member. It really helps. Speaking of it really helping, Richard Gowers, uh, our next organ recitalist here uh, on Beauty and Sound, um, played his recital uh, last week and wow, wow e, you could say. Um, he plays a piece by uh, uh, the Bark, you know, the, the very famous uh, um, doodah, which goes like this. plays that, um, and then he plays a piece by Wagner, and he plays a piece by uh, Franz Liszt, a very famous piano piece arranged for organ. It's one, one of the most famous piano pieces in the repertoire. People are turning off now, the board of waffle. I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell you this anyway. Um, it's one of the most famous piano pieces in the uh, repertoire. It's stunning. It sounds amazing on the organ. And then he plays um, a piece by um, Roibka. Um, Sonata on the 94th Psalm and oh my goodness I've not heard that piece played so well in my life um, and that's going online on Saturday this coming Saturday so this week I'll be editing that and uh, so your support helps me um, pay for people like Richard Gowers to come and play this organ for you I can't wait to share that recital with you honestly can't wait it's just sensational terrific um, I think that Roibka will be the best performance online. Seriously. <laughs> uh, I just need to edit it properly, <laughs> not let him down. Right, let's just quickly have a look at some of more of these requests. We've got a few, we've still got a few, gosh. Um, Tristan, let's have Tristan. Tristan, if you are in, please do say hello. Um, you've asked for something from the 1982. Let me pick it up, where is it? Here it is. In 1982, what have you asked for? Number 129 in here, and it is Christ Upon the Mountain Peak, 129. Oh, by the way, so just, I haven't, I, we haven't yet, I, I haven't yet asked you to do this. So I think now is a time we are about 300 people watching, which is really awesome, thank you. Um, let me know where you are in the world. Give me a plus one and, um, a, a, uh, a location so what I can do because I'm a, I'm a channel member funnily enough <laughs> I can do this look plus one and then I can go Hampshire <laughs> so where are you in the world 129 Christ upon the mountain peak stands alone in glory blazing let us if we dare to speak with the saints and angels praise him Alleluia. Tune is called, oh, no, the tune is called um, uh, Mosley, and it's uh, by um, uh, Sybil Vincent Taylor. Um, I can see all, you, you all doing plus one and location, epic. I will look at, I will look back at that um, later on, maybe in bed or uh, at some point during the week. Some wonderful locations, look at that. Isn't that just, just amazing? It's one of the most amazing things to see. 
uh, where you are in the world. So, awesome. That's really cool. Uh, who's this by? Requested by? Where is it on here? What is it? Christ is? Tristan, of course. Tristan. You may have said hello, but you've been probably been buried now. Apologies. Uh, say hello again. Fab, thanks very much Tristan for requesting that. Shall we go straight on? Um, luckily, the next request from David, um, David Hent Dirks, Heat Dirk, sorry, um, was requested a hymn, only two hymns before that one, so it's very easy to find. And it is, Earth has many a noble city, Bethlehem thou dost excel. Out of thee the Lord from heaven came to rule his Israel. Five verses, and I'm going to get straight into it, it's for David. Thank you. 
I think we've got time for two more hymns, a couple more hymns, and then the organ voluntary. So I'm going to ask you now, what am I going to play for a voluntary? Let me know. Um, it is down to you guys, so make sure you pick a good voluntary. Don't ask for the Jerusalem Toccata. No, you cannot have that. <laughs> I need to learn it. Uh, staying in the hymnal, and I'm going to, go, going to go to number 556, and I'm going to have Rejoice ye pure in heart, rejoice, give thanks and sing, your glorious banner wave on high, the cross of Christ your King. This is a request from Maffet Dowd, who is one of our patrons, so thank you very much, uh, Maffet, for your uh, support. Apologies um, that I'm not going to be able to get through um, all of the requests tonight. Um, we've actually had... Uh, it's difficult to know, it isn't really... It's not easy. But I would say there are 40 requests there for today to get through. But amazingly, amazingly last week we got through all requests. I think I was quite quick last week. Or was it the week before? I can't remember. Um, so if, if we haven't played your request today, apologies, and I'll try to roll it over to next week. You know, if we get such a big backlog, then we'll have to have a big, an extra long VC, another 12 hour virtual church, which we have done before. And actually that was probably one of my favorite ones, favorite organ marathons that I've done. 12 hour virtual church, it's amazing. Maybe I should do one of those. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've got a feeling that it's just gone extremely loud. Why has it gone extremely loud? Is that loud for you as well? How strange, it has gone loud for you. It just suddenly turned itself up in here. I just heard the blowers go really loud. Why has it done that? I can't work it out. I'll try. Okay, here we go. Apologies if it distorts.
Cool. So that Franck third corral, that would be nice. Probably not tonight, it's probably a little bit too long, I think. What else have we had for the Jigu Scherzo? Yes. Nah. That one. I learned that, especially for that um, recital that I gave um, a few weeks ago. I haven't played it since. I need to play it again. Any other requests? Prelude and Fugue. Prelude and E. What's P and E in G minor? Do you mean this one? Yeah, that's a rather fun piece, that, actually. I, I have played it um, at least once on the channel already. Um, it's, yeah, I need to actually play the B major next. Uh, that, is, that is an epic piece. Uh, <laughs> Chris, I can't, I can't play the, um, the Jigu without practicing it. It will just go, it will go hilariously wrong. Uh, so I'm just not going, to, I'm not going to put myself through it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Auburn Scepter, yes, again, that's uh, just, I can do Crown Imperial without practicing it, because that one's easy, but Auburn Scepter, not so much, it's not under the fingers. Uh, <laughs> um, anything else? Um, <laughs> John, John Hosking, what are you going to help me out with? You've got some ideas. I'm not, uh, the bear stow skirt, so yeah, right, yeah, you can play that one if you like for me. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, have to, uh, whatever, whatever, you, whatever you request, Caroline's going to have to fetch, or someone else is going to have to fetch for me anyway. <laughs> the Avnos, yes, well, thank you very much, John, for that. Very sensible suggestion, not. <laughs> um, so you're all wondering what the, the next hymn is going to be. Well, Jessica SD um, has requested a hymn. And I think this is going to be our final hymn, Blimey Jess. I hope this is a good hymn. No pressure. What on earth is it? What on earth is it going to be? Jessica SD, your name is. Are you in with us? Please do say hello in the chat. Um, is it, have you given me the right hymn number? Uh, you have. Well, it looks like quite a nice tune, actually. Um, words are nearer my God to thee, nearer to thee, even though it it be a cross that raiseth me still. All my song shall be nearer my God to thee, nearer to thee. The tune is called Horbury, and we need to have um, a, a serious request. Crown Imperial, you're mentioning, I can have that. If you, if you want a Crown Imperial, let me know in the chat and um, I'll play it. I'll play it. I'd like to get another. Um, I'd like to get another couple of channel members, though, if I'm honest. That will really encourage me to play Crown Imperial. Surely that will be money well spent. <laughs> I do like to make. I do like you to get your money's worth. Let's go to Bird's Eye.
So, what is the um, what is the answer then? What is the the general consensus? So lots of Crown Imperial. Um, someone, Tony, has asked for this uh, the the Sassons, uh, fantasy in uh, in E flat. I'm not sure how to say E flat in French. Welcome, Lewis. Welcome to the club. Welcome to swell the ranks. We've had a um, we've had a new channel member, so then therefore we ought to play it. Um, I need to ask someone uh, to. Could someone go and get me the Walton, the Crown Imperial, from upstairs, please? Caroline will know where it is. Yep. Thank you. Um, I've just sent one of the one of the team <laughs> one of the team upstairs to to uh, to find it. I think actually whilst. Um, um, my glamorous assistant oh, is going to find that, Tony, because I'm feeling very generous. Because I'm feeling very generous, Tony. Uh, and I know you're a nice bunch. And Ian and Jerry, thank you very much for your donations just now. That's really, really kind of you. I will just quickly plonk through this um, Sassons and then we'll have the. Um, then we'll have the what do you call it the crown imperial you can't say that i don't give you what you want you really can't say that <laughs> um i really hope that you do feel like you are getting your money's worth out of me cool let's try this then let's have a bit of fun with this whilst the, whilst the walton's appearing
Thank you very much, <laughs> old glamorous assistant. If you like, you got that. No, yes, no, come on, yes. My, um, one of my members of staff has just offered to um, turn pages, and I'm, I'd be very grateful for, for that. Um, because then if anything goes wrong, I can blame you. Um, so now you've had a little bit of a, a warm up to the SAS, um, to the organ voluntary. That was the, um, the starter. Now that's going to the main course. Uh, the Crown Imperial by William Morton, arranged for organ by Herbert Murrill, uh, played by me and turned by my step, by stepfather, uh, Nigel. So welcome to um, the channel. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I don't, I don't think there are any repeats in this, are there? No. So let's have... The trumpet that would be the that would be the brass on the um, on the choir let's start fairly quietly with this. and then let's just go from there right let's see what happens wish me luck and i'll see you on the other side don't go anywhere
Thank you very much, everybody, for uh, joining me uh, for today's virtual church. Thank you to Nigel for turning pages. Uh, thank you all for making your wonderful requests uh, today um, and making it a, a fun virtual church. Um, oh, my giddy aunt, what's this? Well, Daniel wanted to see Nala. And Nala wants to wish Trevor a happy birthday. Oh, OK, well... Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. That's hello, Trevor. My name's Nala. I hope you're feeling better. Take care. That was Nala. That's very polite. She also told me earlier that she'd like you to play Happy Birthday. For who? For Trevor. Trevor. And is it Fraser's birthday today as well? Fraser Garchaw. The foggiest idea. Definitely, no, it's Trevor's. So I think we should play for Trevor. Okay, I'll play for Trevor. That's what Nala would like. And you know we can't refuse Nala. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> right, shall we have a little bit of a more of a serious rendition? Those of you with the subwoofer would have heard the final, um, would have heard the final sort of um, notes there. Um, <laughs> Trevor likes his goats, doesn't he? So. <laughs> That's kind of really, really bizarre registration. Especially for Trevor. I don't know what this is going to sound like. I'm just pulling out the most random combination of stops known to any human being. I know Trevor would approve. Uh. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's go. So, this is for Trevor Orm. Trevor, happy birthday to you. No idea how old you are. He, he probably 40, uh, 45 or something. Um, probably I'll be catching up with you soon. Um, so look at, that, look at everyone saying happy birthday to Trevor. That's wonderful. Um, well deserved, young man. So on that happy note, um, I'm not quite sure that was a happy note, but a happy chord. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, I will say cheerio. Actually, there's going to be... Um, before Richard Gowers appears on the channel um, on Saturday, there's going to be a few things appearing on my various YouTube channels. So make sure you have subscribed if you are interested in organ music to the other channel. Okay, make sure you subscribe to that because there'll be some stuff appearing on that um, over the coming days. So until I put that online, that's until then, um, egg and chips has written heart, 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 heart. I don't know what emoji that. Is that, is that someone dancing? <laughs> cool. All right. Well, good night, everyone. Uh, thanks for a, um, a really cool virtual church. A lot of fun. It's always so much more fun when you get involved, isn't it? So you, you make it fun. It's not just me. It's you. Um, so until next week, say cheerio. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. And, you know, stay safe. <laughs>